in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. So we come to this Eucharist on Holy Wednesday um, with the Tridium. That's Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, uh, Holy Saturday, and Easter ahead of us. And uh, we really slow down now into the story of Jesus' progression to the cross and the Last Supper. And so we pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We come before God in prayer and praise. And in the quiet, we wait on God's Holy Spirit. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading is taken from the letter to the Hebrews, reading chapter 12, verses 1 to 3. Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him endured the cross disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such hostility against himself from sinners, so that you may not grow weary or lose heart. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, Very truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he was speaking. One of his disciples, the disciple whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter therefore motioned to him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. So while reclining next to Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, it is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it into the dish. So when he had dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After he received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, do quickly what you are going to do. No one at the table knew why he had said this to him. Some thought that because Judas had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, buy what we need for the festival, or that he should give something to the poor. 
So after receiving the piece of bread, he immediately went out. And it was night. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So we come to our prayers of penitence, which form responses. Cast your burden upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. Cast us not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from us. Give us the joy of your saving help, and sustain us with your life-giving spirit. Blessed be the Lord, day by day, the God of our salvation, who bears our burdens. Come, let us return to the Lord and say, Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy forgive what we have been, help us to amend what we are, and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. The Father of all mercies, cleanse us from our sins and restore us in his service to the praise and glory of his name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to God our Father. Lord, as we turn to you in prayer, we pray for the world in which we live. We thank you for those who witness to your love in their care and compassion, in giving of themselves for the sake of others. And we remember all who give that understand themselves as betrayed, whose trust has been undermined through another's greed or selfishness or different perspective. Father, we bring to you the pain of our world. Help us to be agents of reconciliation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for your body, the Church. We thank you for the great crowd of witnesses that surround us as we take on the journey of faith, following in the steps, your steps. Help us to always keep before us the model of Jesus as the pioneer of our faith. Help us to accept 
that walk which is costly, knowing that it can bring glory to your name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so, Father, we pray for our local community. We give thanks for the families who live in this area. We bring to you the cost of social distancing at this time that they bear. And we pray for those who live alone, who experience the pressure of isolation and sometimes loneliness. Lord, may each know your strength and may neighbours provide comfort for each other. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We lift to the Lord all who are troubled in body, mind or spirit. We pray for all who are weighed down by a burden of guilt. We pray for all who suffer with mental health problems. Within our own community, we bring to God and Sykes, Norma Woodhouse, Charmaine, Jackie and Ruth. And we remember those with continuing needs. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, you were content to give yourself to death for our sake. And so won for us a share in your resurrection. Remember all who have died recently. Amongst them we name Doris Wallace and Daniel Joseph Allen. Grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, we pray for ourselves. Lord, give us the comfort of your Holy Spirit. And remind us of the love of your Son. Lord, we pray that you might renew us in faith. that our lives might reflect more deeply your holiness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we come to the peace. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God as one body through the cross. We meet in his name and we share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. You will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For as the time of his passion and resurrection draws near, the whole world is called to acknowledge his hidden majesty. The power of the life-giving cross reveals the judgment that has come upon the world and the triumph of Christ crucified. He is the victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever, our advocate in heaven to plead our cause, exalting us there to join with angels and archangels, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All glory be to you, our Heavenly Father, who in your tender mercy gave your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made thereby his one oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world. He instituted and in his holy gospel commanded us to continue a perpetual memory of his precious death until he comes again. Hear us, merciful Father, we humbly pray, and grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, we receiving these gifts of your creation, this bread and this wine, according to your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. Who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Christ is the bread of life. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. Therefore, Lord and Heavenly Father, in remembrance of the precious death and passion, the mighty resurrection and glorious ascension of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, we offer you through him this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Grant that by his merits and death, 
and through faith in his blood, we and all your church may receive forgiveness of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. Although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer you any sacrifice, yet we pray that you will accept this, the duty and service that we owe. Do not weigh our merits, but pardon our offences, and fill us all who share in this holy communion with your grace and heavenly blessing. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us his peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed.
Lord Jesus Christ, you humbled yourself in taking the form of a servant and in obedience died on the cross for our salvation. Give us the mind to follow you and proclaim you as Lord and King, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. God of our pilgrimage, you have fed us with the bread of heaven. Refresh and sustain us as we go forward on our journey, in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. And so we prepare to be sent out and prepare to enter into the three sacred days of the Tridium. We ask for God's blessing. The Lord be with you. Christ crucified, draw you to himself, to find in him a sure ground for faith, a firm support for hope, and the assurance of sins forgiven and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be upon you this day and remain with you forevermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Turn now to our prayer time, so I'm just going to readjust uh, the focus a little. Bear with me. I'm going to light a candle as um, to provide a focus for our prayers. So you should be able to see that in front of the, the table where I've been celebrating communion. some incense on the um, live charcoal. Lord, let our prayers rise before you as incense, the lifting up of our hands as the evening sacrifice. And so I invite you to find um, somewhere comfortable in order to be still. And I ask you to breathe deeply, knowing that God gives life to us. that with each breath we remember the sustaining power of God's Holy Spirit. And as we do that, we thank 
God, for Christ's presence with us. Christ, the one who binds us together, the one with whom we share the Holy Spirit in common, the one who unites us and leads us. And this night, reflecting on our Gospel, we remember how Jesus accepted Judas's betrayal. How he offered to him compassion in that act. How he knew that this was God's purpose and for God's glory. So we bring to the Lord all who bear the burden of loss, all who suffer pain. And we ask they might know God's strength, sustaining them in their loss, in their being let down by the world, in their sense of betrayal. And we move to thank God for his glory. Glory seen in the cross. Glory seen in God's purposes overcoming death and hell and sin. So let us still ourselves and be aware of God's loving presence with us, calling us to himself, that still small voice which speaks of love and a future with Christ in heaven that we taste now. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Thank you for joining me in prayer this night, in both the Eucharist and this time of uh, focused prayer following it. I pray that you might know God with you this night and through the coming days. May you be blessed in Jesus Christ our Lord.